So participatory budgeting is a democratic innovation um, which will allow communities across Scotland to have more say over councils and how they spend their budgets. For the first time ever, it's given the community an opportunity to handle the, the money themselves and look, look for programmes that will enhance the area and enhance the people around about it. There's an event coming up where uh, the different groups will present their project or their proposal to the community and then the community get the opportunity to then vote for what they think, where they think the money should go. Grant making participatory budgeting is completely new to Barhead. It's the first time that East Renfrewshire Council have delivered a grant making PB programme. Saturday was a voting event where all the community groups who had applied for funding under the, the Better Barhead You Decide programme um, had came together, they heard about each other's projects and they voted on the projects which they felt were most appropriate for the area to get funding. We are presenting for a group called ERA. I'm here from Barhead Youth Football Club. And I'm with the partner group East Renfrewshire. My name is Margaret Monaghan, I'm from the Tuesday Friendship Club. I'm representing the Social Enterprise Academy that we have running in our school today. The organisation is Ockham Back Walking Group. I'm Alison Geddes, I work for Bouncing Back. We have to raise money to get a funding for a snow camp, a snow instructors camp. So my name is Margo and I'm a coach at Flair Gymnastics Club in Barhead. We are part of the Carlebar Parent Council and our groups are called Family Focused Experiences and Nature's Playgrounds. I think this is a really, really good thing for us all. This is a fantastic opportunity for, for Barhead. It gives the community direct access to it, it influencing decisions that affect their community. So. It goes beyond consultation, it's about we will vote and these votes will count in terms of what's to live in our community. I think it bonds community groups and it's awareness of what's going on in your own community. So this is a way of bonding all the community groups together. I'm quite excited, um, looking forward to, to seeing all the other groups that are here and getting to explain what we're about. It's very informative, it makes us all feel as part of the one. Um, also at the same time, it, it brings awareness to different aspects like elderly groups, disabled groups, youth groups, all coming as one under the one roof. Well, who better to decide what the local issues are than the communities themselves? You know, rather than uh, the people who live and work and breathe the air of their communities, that's who knows best. Um, Scottish Government think participatory budgeting is important because um, what it does is it allows communities who are living in areas of deprivation particularly to have more say around the services that are being delivered in their community by them voting on the services that are important to them and their needs. Yeah, we don't actually get that many chances to do things like this so I think it would be a good experience for us and all the other people that are doing it. Well I was feeling a wee bit nervous but I was like really excited and when I was on stage it felt good because everybody respected you and respected each other. I've enjoyed it as a, it's a great event for East Renfrewshire. I think it's fantastic. I mean, I'm a community worker at heart, and to see all these people here, many people present for the first time, presenting about their groups, um, excited about their groups, their peers are asking them questions, but in a, in a comfortable and um, sensitive way. I think it's a fantastic event, and I, I think it's a really good starting point for us for doing this in the future. So behind me is the community of Barhead who have recently just received £100,000 through participatory budgeting and we hope that that £100,000 will make a difference to those communities and the people living in them.